Hey everyone, it's Dion with 901 Cravis, and today I'm back with, a, with another video, and today you're gonna love this one. I mean, come on, what's not to love? We have chicken, we have waffles, and we also have the most amazing honey butter cream sauce. So, let's get right into this video. Let's go ahead and start with the marinade for this chicken. So, we're gonna take some buttermilk, pour it right into the bowl, and the flavor that this buttermilk is gonna to add to the chicken along with the other seasoning is gonna really make it pop. Well, I shouldn't say pop, it's, it's gonna really help it make it juicy and way more flavorful. Pepper. Pepper in and salt. That's enough right there. Now, to liven things up a little bit, hot sauce, because there's nothing wrong with a little heat. Stir this around. That's all mixed. And now let's put in this chicken. And like always, since we're dealing with raw meat, putting in the gloves. Well, putting on the gloves, not putting in the gloves. <laughs> So the meat today that we're using is chicken thighs. And if you and if you're wondering why chicken thighs, well, you know, I was wanting a juicy piece of chicken and I could have used breast, but I was like, you know what? Let's go with dark meat today cuz that's going to be really really juicy and just much more flavorful. So mix them all in. Get them all nice and coated, and we're going to let this sit in sit in sit in the fridge for a couple hours. Or if you want, you could do about thirty minutes. It'll be good and marinated by then too. But if you really want these flavors to uh, sit in, you let them mar uh, marinate for longer. All right. And with the chicken marinating, let's go ahead and work on our seasoned flour. Okay, and so with that. Let's do about two to three cups of flour. Just, just dump it on in. A little bit more. Pepper. Salt. A little bit of cayenne. Just a little. You know, ain't trying to burn no one's mouth that much. <laughs> Onion powder. That's in. Chili powder. garlic powder and last but not least the father of them of all seasonings smoked paprika when well, that father the god of all seasonings smoked paprika is something else and give that a mix next let's work on a cornbread waffle and what better way to make a cornbread waffle than by using, wait for it, Jiffy Mix. And so now you're probably going to ask, well, why am I going to use Jiffy Mix? I mean, come on, it's Jiffy Mix. Everyone loves Jiffy Mix. And then plus, you know, I want my recipes to be recipes that anybody can do. You know, I don't want to make them so technical and complicated that, that a person thinks they can't do it, so if I can provide as many hacks as I can while while making these recipes for people, then hey, I'll do it. So, Jiffy Mix in the bowl. One egg in the bowl, no shells. One third cup of milk in the bowl. I had a little oops right there, but there we go. Two tablespoons of diced jalapenos. 
Yeah, about two tablespoons. Yeah, that's a good enough amount right there. And just a little bit of oil. Alright. So now, take my whisk. Start cracking up that egg and mix it all together. But it feels like I might be forgetting something. What could I be forgetting? That's right. Let's not forget to add in just a little bit of sugar. Jiffy Mix is already kind of sweet, but since we got in these jalapenos, we want this sugar to help counteract the heat that's gonna come from it. Cheddar cheese, not a lot. Uh, about a small handful, that's enough right there. Because while the waffle is cooking, we don't want no cheese to burn real bad and stick to the inside. So, so far we have the chicken marinade in, the seasoned breading done, and the cornbread mixture done. So what could be left? That's right. We can go ahead and work on the honey compound butter and the um, uh, honey butter cream sauce. So let's get to that. Make the compound butter. All you do is take some softened butter that's gonna came to room temperature. Add in honey, probably about two tablespoons full. Yeah. Set that to the side and you take a spoon and you just start mixing it all together. There we go. The compound butter is all done, and it ooh, smells exactly like honey. And now for the honey with the cream sauce, gonna take honey and just start squeezing it in. And so to be honest, if you don't have honey, you can use maple syrup, where it's Miss Buttersworth, Aunt, uh, Aunt Jemima, <laughs> you can use uh, molasses, dark syrup, whichever you want. All right, so honey in How about two tablespoons of cream. So one, two, last but not least, two tablespoons. Oops, uh -uh. you can't cook alone paper. Two tablespoons of butter, cut the heat on and let it cook on down. You let to get it to cooking. Don't let it burn. It don't need to be up on high heat either. And let it cook until it's thickened. Just, oh my God, just look at the way that looks. Oh, and you should smell it. It smells amazing. Now I'm just adding a simple little cornstarch slurry to help go ahead and thicken it up. And now let's get to frying our chicken. So, chicken out the fridge. Take the chicken. Shake off as much excess as you can. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. <laughs> okay. Then into the flour. Dredge it. Make sure you get all of it fully covered. That piece is good right here. And then just lay it on your rack. So again, repeat that process. Shake off as much excess into the flour and dredge. Then onto the rack. Take your chicken and drop it into the oil away from you, okay? In case there's any dripping or splashing, into the oil away from you. One end, 
And now the other piece. There we go. And you let them fry until they are golden brown. So in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Ooh, y'all just don't know. I cannot wait for, for this to be over towards the end so that I can show y'all this. Let's take a look at how they're coming along. Oh my God. Look at that. And then this piece, Ooh, I can just bite into it right now, but let this go for a little bit longer. And these are looking about done and ready. So let's go ahead and take these out. Ooh, yes, look at that. Just go ahead and sit this over here on our racks and let those start drying off. Well, not drying off, but cooling off and let, and let all of this oil and drip off of them. Sit that one right there in. Oh my God, just look at that. And it smells so amazing. And while the rest of our chicken is cooking, let's get to working on our waffles. First things first, like always, cooking spray, bottom and top. And let's put it on in. I never know how much to actually put into these things, so a lot of times I'll just eyeball it. I would say that's probably a good amount right there because it does spread out. All right, close, lock, and flip it. And with that light being green, that means that this waffle is done. Trying to get it to turn. There we go. Oh my God, look at that. All right, so now let's try to pick this bad boy. Okay. Careful because they can be a little. Trying to get them picked up and move them right onto the plate. There we go. Ooh, just look at that. And with our waffle done, let's go ahead and assemble. Got yeah, waffle done. And remember that honey compound butter. So you put a dollop of it on right there. Your piece of chicken. You put it on top. And now let's take it to a room with better lighting. And as y'all can see, I decided to come outside to get that natural light for this money shot. Here we go. And you know, don't forget that honey cream butter that I made. Well, honey butter cream sauce. And just look at that. And look at that honey compound butter just melting up underneath there. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a comment down below, slap that thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button so that you can stay updated for more future content and turn on that post notifications because I'm telling you, it only get better from here on out. And so you're going to want to see every time I post. But all right, everyone, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.